now in this tutorial we'll see how do we create a generation or a data set for this created GDG base okay so let me go here or I can take any other JCL for this mm, okay I can take this and I can queue I can update this or I can cut this and I can create a generation and paste and I can update the name as creation generation for GDG and the GDG we have created was GDG okay and here in order to create the GDG so first let me delete this this JCL is used to create a generations generation versions for GDG base okay so here I'm using IEFBR14 as a utility and DD1 GDG name I'm giving new catalog and it's a fixed block and all the properties will be same so how you have created for the uh, PS file right so it will be the same but the, the thing is you have to give it as open the brackets and if you have to give it as a plus one when you say plus one means create a plus generation generation for this particular base so just before to that you can see do you see any generations here to the GDG no generations are created just submit and enter so you can see a GDG is uh, the job is successfully submitted and now I'll be refreshing and you can see a generation has been successfully created that is generation 001 is successfully created I like this so the limit that we gave in our GDG base creation was 5 so the maximum 5 generations you can create so that is submit enter 0 submit 3 4 then 5 right then refresh so you can see the 5 generations has been created now I will be submitting again and we'll see what happens submit okay then then refresh you can see the first generation got deleted and still it has only the five versions so that is the reason we have mentioned no empty and scratch so it got delete no empty means delete the oldest version and scratch means I mean scratch means remove it from physical thing remove it physically so that's that's what happened so this is how we create a GDG base and also a GDG generations and if you want to edit it so you can edit the GDG by typing E and this you can mention the data this is generation 1 okay and you can save it so this is how we create a GDG base and a different version so what is this this is a normal physical sequential file you can see it is as a physical sequential file but it is associated to this particular base and the name still remains the same but the generations are different so this solves the problem that we had earlier right